Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here, and this is not how I planned on starting the episode today. But I've been caving and finding a whole bunch of fun goodies, and I decided why not take you with me, especially since it's very, very unusual to find me in caves in the first place. So the fact that I'm caving should probably be recorded. <laughs> anyway, we have a jammed, packed episode today. Oh boy. Oh, this isn't going to go well. We have a uh, okay, we have a jam-packed episode today, and um, I'm going to try to do everything I wanted to do. So this is a ravine. So we'll come back to that maybe? Are there any other caves along the way? Jam-packed episode. This is not in the plan at all. Um, I wanted to get over there without ruining this water flow too much. There we go. Um... So we'll just go like this. Um, and hopefully I will still have time to do that stuff because it's going to be a full episode before I start a caving. Sorry, I'm just concentrating here. And this just goes around and around and around. Well, this is good because I needed some iron. So what started all this is I was... First of all, I'm going to clear my throat. What started all this is I need a little bit more iron to do what we're going to do today together. And then as I was branch mining, I found this cave system. And it kept going on and on, and I'm like, you know what? I should record this cave system. And that's how we got to where we are. So we're just going to collect some of this stuff. And then um, we'll get back to what I wanted to do. That just means this episode is going to be way longer than I thought. Man, I'm having an allergy voice again. Um, so let's see. Let's go back. Let's collect at least the iron. The... um coal and stuff I can probably grab as we branch mine this out. Oh, and speaking of branch mining, we're under mountains right now. And when I dug out my entire mountain, I didn't have a single silverfish. But as I've been branch mining, I've had hundreds of silverfish. So I don't understand why here and not in the other part of the mountain. But it's been pretty crazy. I also have to go mend my pick soon, I see. All right, this will be plenty of iron for what we need to do today. I'm just going to quickly finish this. And um, we'll be on our way here. I'm just lighting up everything so nothing will spawn. But I'll be coming through here doing my branch mining, obviously. So let's just quickly do this. I guess this is going to make the video longer, but people don't seem to mind the longer video format. And um, Okay, so there's a ravine that... Act oh. I've been, I just did that. So the ravine kind of starts there, and then it goes that way. So we'll come back to this ravine sometime. Um, should I leave the coal? I'm only leaving the coal because, like I said, we'll be through here when we branch mine. So, look, you know, we'll get that coal eventually. It's just I don't want to take time to do it right now. I just needed the iron. I think there's more iron, yeah. Otherwise, normally I don't leave any resource behind, no matter what it is, but... I'll be getting that another time. So let's just finish this up. And I have my shield out because there were creepers and skeletons. And I was in the ocean fighting drowns with tridents without a shield. And that was a bummer. <laughs> but my armor is so good thanks to Elduend and that I only took like four hearts damage. But still. Alrighty here. Is this enough? I think that's everything. Yep. Alright. How do I get out of here? My branch mine is here. So this was my branch mine. Hey, bat, I'll let you stay. So let's just close that off. And I'll just branch mining through. How much farther do I have to go here? Before 3126. Okay, we'll finish this branch together. And then we'll um, go mine the pick. And then we'll get to my to-do list for the episode as I have the hiccups here. All right, we should be breaking through any seconds. What I do for my branch mine is I do the perimeter... And then I just go back and forth. There we go. Right, I can just mindlessly mine. See, so I did the perimeter again, the torture inside. We talked about this last time, I think. That's how far this level is going to go. And then the levels lower can actually go bigger. It's just that um, this level is going around my portal room, which is below us and above us right now. So we're going around that. And then this is not diamond level, by the way. I already got a few more diamonds, but I don't want to get any more diamonds until I have fortune. By the way, here's my first person for the intro. Hello, everybody. Let's keep going, though. What is it? This one? There you go. So I am not going to do any more diamonds until I get fortune on my pick. 
So you can see I've been digging all this out. Just watching YouTube videos late at night. Or during the day when my kids are busy. So that's down to diamond level. When my kids are busy, like I said in the previous video. I've had a bit more time than normal. Are we alone? Yeah, we weren't alone earlier. There's quite a crowd on earlier. Oh, no, that is not what's going on in the center. Remember I said we're doing something special? Nope, I'm just growing coarse fruit for purper and trees because I need more wood. That's not what's going there. All right, um, don't want to give away spoilers, although I guess I kind of just did. In fact, let's just go from here right to mending our pick. And then we will... Um, actually, do we have enough room... Yeah, we're also, since we're here, we have a few more things to do. Okay, I'm doing this out of order now. We were going to come here as part of the episode um, to go do some stuff. But I guess we'll come back here twice. Because <laughs> they don't want to get out of order. I organize my episode notes very carefully. But we will be diving in there, which is full of rounds, by the way, which don't scare me anymore. Here we go. Rounds used to really scare me, but they don't. I don't know why. All right, so here we go. We're going to turn my volume down because holy cow, it's loud. And just go for this. And mender pick. And I didn't see them for some reason. All right, the pick is just about done. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll put that back and then we'll do our shovel since we can. That should be like two hits, I think. Yep. And then eventually we'll do, we'll get mending on our axe, which we don't have. Um, mending right now, and then we'll get mending on our sword eventually, too. And hopefully infinity on that. And hopefully fortune on that. Okay, we got that done. Um, yeah, let's go home, and we can finally start the episode the way we wanted to. Only eight minutes in. Alright, so let's get our iron in the blast furnace. Wow, we got lots of iron. And then I'm going to clean up the rest of this, because there's a lot. To clean up, I'm not going to waste the time with you to do it. Although I guess maybe some of you wouldn't mind watching me sort things. Um, the andesite goes... Do I have any andesite? Oh yes. The andesite goes there. And we have gravel, don't we? We should have some gravel. There it is. And cobblestone, I think I'm up on this one already. And I assume we have diorite. Yep. And granite. Yep. And we'll keep half the dirt and put the rest away. Oh, we're up here already. And put away the balls, which I think go here. And bones. And gunpowder. See, it's all organized. I have a system. Oh, I guess we can put the put this away too for now. Actually, I've been popping that. I've been popping all of my coarse fruit. So let's pop the coarse fruit. And coal, let's just dump coal in one of these. There we go. And we had pants. Some pants to put away. Okay, there we go. Simple enough. Books. Oh yeah, we also need to get some, um... We need to grind the, um... Oh, it's not done yet. Grind the sugar cane to make some books. Alright, so... Now we can start our episode. <laughs> so if you notice... Chains, I decided... Oh, I got my bridge done underneath... We're going to use chains along the side. Um, I did have to fix my texture because my texture was only allowing vertical chains, and that's because I forgot to copy a JSON file because I assumed it would just um, tree down to the default, and it didn't. So I put the JSON file in there, and I want to thank Delmer, who watches all of our videos. He started watching our Soul Ridercraft videos, and I watches everybody's Eternia videos. He is like my beta tester, bug tester for my texture pack because he uses it, and he gives me... Or they, I don't know if it's a he, but they give me all their feedback on textures. And that's how I was notified that my chains didn't go sideways. So I fixed it, and then I'm like, I want my chains to go sideways, and that's what we're doing. So thank you to Delmer, my one and only bug tester. Um, I've not given them my 117 yet, because I'm waiting until 117.1, because that might change things. And then they can bug test 117. So there you go. So thank you again, Delmer. But we're going to fix this together. So we need a bunch of iron for that. I think. Yep. Iron, iron, iron. Where are you? We need iron. And we need any ingots I can find. Because we need to make a bunch of lanterns as well. So. Oh, I already have it in here. Because I was already going to start something. 
Okay, so let's do this. If we go like that, make some of those, and then we split those up, we can get a bunch of chains. We don't need 18 chains, but we're going to make a bunch just so we have them in case we need them for something else. And while we're at it, let's make some um, lanterns. Do we need, I think we need like 25 lanterns. I think I counted. So let's just make a bunch here. Um, I really don't care for, quote, wasting this because we can put it back together. And we can make some other stuff there. What do we got? 15 plus my 7. That should be enough for now. Alrighty, so there we go, running low on the torches, but that's okay, let's put the iron back, so here we go, we're doing all this together, instead of just like, watch all my update stuff, yippee yippee, we're actually doing some things together here, what time is it? Ooh, it's about to be nighttime. Alright, let's get our chains put in, you just have to click in the right spot to get them to go sideways, very simple, just go like this, All right? and boom. Now you can walk over. I know they're not going to connect to a wall, but I'm going to do that because maybe someday they will do that because they know they keep changing the wall textures. So maybe someday they'll connect. I just like that better than a block. So before we get started, what else are we doing? Well, if we look under here, we got our cladding done around the bridge. Oh, I forgot a piece of brown. We need to get a piece of brown for that. And then I got the bridge supported to look supported. It's kind of boring, but it gets the job done, right? This side is much more exciting, though. Um, it's supported, and then we have our posts on the side for the chain. So that looks a lot better. Um, I was going to do posts on this side, but I didn't really want it to dig into the cladding. I mean, yeah, I wanted the cladding to remain. Ooh, we can do a post there. That's what we'll do. We'll put a post there and bring that brown down. Um, okay, so we'll do that together super fast, and it's going to be dark. Let's actually sleep. Although I should stay up for phantoms because I want some slow falling potions so I can get the end city raiding done. But you need, slow, you should have slow falling potion. Alrighty, episode should be half over. We're just getting started. We're going to sleep here in a second and then we will finish those little things and I'll show you more. Um, gosh, I'm tempted to make that brown too. But I want some of the natural, I want some of the natural stuff to be there. I don't know how I might change it someday. Here you go. Let's sleep. Hey guys. Germ virus. They keep moving around on me. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking of making that brown terracotta. But this cladding is perfect. I painstakingly went through all the blocks I wanted to do. See if I do that white, then we have to go all the way down white. And I don't think I want to do that. So, other than that spot, because see, then there'd be one there that's different. We'd want to do all that too. Oh, I'm tempted. Okay, there. That does look way better, doesn't it? I'm just tempted to all of those now. But then is that too much of a good thing? Nope, it looks amazing now, doesn't it? Okay, we are going to keep that dirt back there, though. <laughs> For sure, because otherwise, otherwise this whole thing will become cladding, and it won't look like it's inside the mountain. The point is to look like humans did stuff to it, yet it's still part of the mountain. So that stuff down there will stay. Plus, this is going to become a big pond. I'm going to make the river go that way, and... It's all going to be water eventually anyway. Um, oh yeah, the only weird thing with these is you can walk over them. Those chains, but that's okay. Alrighty. Um, let's see, I brought my materials to fix this. So let's quickly... I can't do that, but I can go like this. Let's quickly make this. Oh, then I got to do all that too. Um, I'm going to have to put in another stone thing, right? Because if I go like this... Yep. And I gotta go get a stone thing. That's okay. Let's go up here. And how was I gonna get back in there to fix that one piece? Let's do this. And fix that. And fix that. There you go. Done. Okay. Can't get up that one. And oh yeah, I have to eat after hard day's work, huh? And yes, I did hear my Discord. I didn't look to see who it is. I was asking some people Eternia questions since. I feel like I'm out of touch with the server a little bit, even though I've been playing so much. Alrighty, so let's see. Are those ready to harvest yet? Almost. Okay. Now I think we're done with the cladding. And uh, yeah, we'll do something under this too, but that'll be once we get let the water through and make another waterfall and fix this bridge to be more supportive, then we'll do something there. So that's a separate project. But at least the cladding is done exactly how I want it until I screw with this. I keep saying this is done, but I have a feeling I'm going to screw with that. 
Like, it might look okay to make that all brown. It'll still be in the mountain, right? Because the mountain underneath. Will that be okay, oh brown? I really don't want to mess with the waterfall, though. Because then it looks like the waterfall made the cladding, like, deteriorate and fall off, right? So you can see the original earth under it. Um, but maybe going out to the waterfall would be good. Okay, now am I done? I even made it with the indentation in there. Although I think I should just... Nope, that would be white, wouldn't it? Do I still have white on me? I do, okay. So this would be white if I'm going to do anything there. This side would look a lot nicer if it were. Um, oh, that's already white, okay. Actually, let's do maybe one more round one here then. Let's go have a peek. So, you know, nothing is ever done in Minecraft. Although I did say that my base in Survivor Craft was done. But that's because I knew they were going to change versions, although they still haven't. There we go. That does look better. I was afraid of it being too, like, uniform and perfect. But there's enough variation in the natural hillside, both in all three dimensions, that it looks fine. But we are going to stop there because the water's deteriorating the cladding. And then that's going to turn into a pond. Okay, so the cladding is done. I love this is meticulous. This is actually all going to open up. You'll see why later. This is fine. This is meticulously done. And I'm going to show you those spaces too. So I'm very happy with this. Okay, guys. What is next on our to-do list? Wow. That was only item two. <laughs> and this should be a whole episode. It's going to be a long one, folks. I know you don't mind. Alrighty. So what is next? I'm going to show you this area here. Um, so this I had to bring in the cladding just to make sense, and then I'm going to figure out what to do with this. I don't want this to be all terracotta in here, but I have a feeling it might be. So I was thinking of doing a color I normally don't use, like cyan or something. You know, I made spot roll 16, so I'll, maybe I'll do like cyan or something weird on the walls and ceiling, or maybe different. I don't know. I don't know. I still think this is weird they call it white when it's peach, but anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. But I like how that looks like a teleporter thing, like Star Trek. So if you look at the sign now, head and map room, observation deck, beds and showers. So what? Well, first of all, I did... Okay, I know this hall, this um, thing for the, the, not stairwell, but ladder well, I guess. Looks all funky different colors. But that's because if you come around, see, it makes sense for this. Although I think that yellow one can probably become white. All these things I don't notice until I start talking it out with people. With people? As though you're with me. Anyway, if I made that one white, then it'll look weird in here, see? So, um, unless I made these three white, that's too much. So anyway, so I brought in the cladding in here. I gave away you can look out here. And I like these windows. I didn't know what to do from the outside. I didn't know what to do to make that look okay, so I just put in black glass. And I used blocks instead of, um, panes because it's more like those privacy blocks you can get you know like people put in their bathrooms like in the 50s that type of thing although they can still see through it but i think this is perfect kids can look there adults can look there just don't fall down there and then place the story things so only you can see it right if you come to stay um big beds small beds cozy right everybody's friends everybody can hang out together and then the lighting i think i mentioned before the asymmetric tree even though it looks symmetrical it isn't and then lanterns everywhere, and then this will be our bath and shower room. Once again, my purper done. And quartz. I need quartz for, like, the tub and shower and part of the toilet stuff. So I need quartz, and I need, um, purper. So then you come up here, and we have our observation deck, which looks incredible. See, the bridge looks fine now. It looks fully supported. And everything and they're actually going to be i'll tell you there's gonna be a double decker bridge here because see how far down it is to what's going to be a pond um there's going to be a double decker bridge coming down out here i'll explain why in another video so here we are we can look out that one block again that's not a floating block it's a huge mountain back there but one block renders i got to figure out what block that is and go knock it out of there but anyway everything looks fantastic you cannot tell that that mountain is floating perfect and again that is not what's going to be here that's just for harvesting and yay we can harvest our sugar cane now and then hmm 
I have so many stray animals. Well, please give me an egg. Okay, thank you. I'll let you stay. Um, this is going to be a headroom and map room. So all those heads we get, we're going to be in here. I think I told you this. And then we're going to do all of our treasure maps on the other side. Not map of the world, but treasure maps. We'll have a world map sometime. If there's a map of Mundi, um, I'll put it maybe up there. I don't know. And then I was thinking of making the railway out to the village. So maybe I can bring in villagers. There are plenty of people doing villager farms, but I personally have never done anything with villagers. So it'd be nice to do something myself with villagers. And nobody has gone to that village but me. So um, maybe I will make like a rail line that just goes from here, but behind the farm, out to there. So anybody watching, don't take that village. I don't have a claims as part of my base, but... There's nobody else out here. I sure hope nobody takes it. There's another village over here too, but that's by Fani's area. So hopefully she does, it, or she's probably taken that one. Anyway, that's the plans for this. I'll let these animals stay. I have so many stray animals walking around. We might have an episode where I just kill the stray animals. Alrighty, that is something else I was on my to-do list. Now what? Oh yeah, now we're going to go inside. <laughs> so this is like half do things together, half show and tell, I guess. Um, I'm getting really positive feedback on my show and tell episodes. So there's going to be a lot of that. The ceiling, boom, is done. I was going to have it be all green, but I decided not to. So over here is all natural. That's I'm not touching any of that. This is under my house, which I'll show you the plans of when we get up there. And then this is our great room where you can party. This is actually outside. That's dirt, not terracotta. That's outside of my house. And then around the waterfall area with the viewing area. So it looks unfinished. My original plan was to make it look finished, but I'm like, no, it's going to stay unfinished. The floor and walls are finished. I'm going to keep the ceiling unfinished, and then that's just because that just goes outside. That's just how light works in Minecraft with shaders. Can't do anything about it unless they put more layers around there. So we're just going to leave it. That's, whoa, that's what a roof is going to look like. That's just going to stay that way. Alrighty, so what is next? Oh yeah, the house. I'm going to show you the house. It's not done, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And whoops, I need to go back down. Sorry. I need to get that shulker box that you saw sitting in there. It's time to pick that up. And first, let's put a terracotta away. Man, I wish I could stream. I would love to just stream all this stuff for everybody, then do a video on demand so you can all watch it later. We should put our chain away, too. Well, let's see if we get a chicken out of this. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Let's see if we have a chicken living in our house. Nope, okay. Um, we need to pick up that box. Here we go. And where should chains go? Probably... Ladders and bars. Ladders, bars, and chains. So let's fix that sign super fast. Ladders, chains, bars. There we go. All right, now my shulker box. Now let's go upstairs. Oh, we have more terracotta put away. I really don't care. All right, here we go. Oh, easy. All right, so let's put this down because we need this. We need all this stuff. Well, let's start with this. All right, so what is what are we going to do here? Well, first of all, you already know the outside area, which I'm not going to show you because it'll spoil something else. We are probably going to line this cave with terracotta at least halfway. Probably. Don't know what color yet. Alrighty, so we're going to put down our jukebox that I made. I don't have any records, but when I get a record. <laughs> then we're going to put down our couch. Ooh, do I want to go all the way? Do I want to go this way? Oh, <gasps> Yeah, that's better. Okay, there's glass back there, but who cares? We'll keep it that way. All right, so now we have a couch with a jukebox. I could make it a wraparound couch in the jukebox there, but that's too crowded. So it's going to stay like that, I think. I think that's okay. This is how our couches are in my real house. We have a table here. And then this. We didn't go wraparound because I grew up with a wraparound couch in the 80s, and it's actually kind of a bummer because you can't really fit people in this area. It's kind of dumb. So we're going to go like that. Nice. All right. So all the thing we're going to do is we're going to take on all these torches. And we're going to put in lanterns. Now, I think I'm just going to hang them from the glass. Now, I don't know how many we need. So actually, if I bring them in one, that'll probably cover everything, right? Because when you put lights in the corners, you're actually losing potential. Because these lights go, you know, I could probably put one right there and cover the... Yeah, I could probably put it here or here and cover the whole room. But I don't want to. But when you go in the corner, you're losing potential. Um... So let's just go like this. I know this is more than we need. Whoops. And we won't be able to test it till nighttime to check the light levels. But I guarantee you, what is it? It's like 13 or 12? 11, 10, 9. Yeah, we're good. 
9. It goes down to 9. So like I said, if we um, put those in the middle, we would get better coverage. But I'm not doing it for coverage. I'm doing it for aesthetics. So there we go. And we have our clock. Okay, let's do a house tour. So we already have seen this bazillions of times. And I love all the glass. This is the my favorite house I've ever made in all my Minecraft worlds ever. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Alrighty, oh my gosh, half an hour video before editing. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a long one. I'm sorry, folks, but I'm not actually sorry at all. Alright, we talked about this. We're talking about we're not building up there. We go in here, there's a little bedroom. No doors, by the way. Why? Why do we want doors? We're a happy family. All the rooms have, are going to have glass along that top, which I have seen in real life. Um, and wardrobe, bed, no door. Guess who needs doors? Alright, you're going to come through. Here's the hallway. We're going to come in here, and now we're actually going to do stuff in this room. This is going to be like a sitting room, kind of. It's going to be very crowded on purpose. Um, we need all of this stuff. We need all of it. And here we go. Alright, so let's see here. Let's move that. And I was going to put the table... I'm going to put the table here. Here, I think. Yeah, there's going to be just enough space. Oh, gosh, it's the same color as the... Oh. I didn't mean for it to blend in. I wasn't thinking. Um, that needs to be dark. No, that needs to be spruce. Shoot. Well, darn it. That's not what was supposed to happen. There we go. That is much better. Good. So like I say, crowded, but that's on purpose because it's going to get more crowded. <laughs> so here, we're going to do that, right? Oh my gosh, that's hard to walk through. So boom, we have a sitting area. And again, this is all on purpose. It's all crowded on purpose. And this I found out. If you go like that, look what you can do. If you shift, look at it. You can put a flower pot on a shelf. And boom, there we go. So again, crowded, but I don't care. So you walk down the hallway, there are your elevators, and boom, you got a table that's in the way. And then you got a couch, and then you have some amenities here. And again, lanterns. Lanterns, lanterns, everywhere. That should be more than enough light. 13, 12, oh yeah. What do we got over here? 12, 11, yeah, perfect. So there we go. There is this room crowded but that's okay you come through here you turn to the right you're going to have a shower here that's going to have glass looking out into the world so you can when you're in the bathtub or whatever you can look out so there's gonna be a bath here with like a i don't know towels hanging up banners right to make a towel and then sink and toilet toilet sink bath banners so i have to add that to my list banners for the bathroom for towels I always forget that part. Then, so this was that room, right? You come through here, go left, instead of... Instead? No. It's going to be the master bedroom. And this glass, it's all going to be glass. This whole thing is going to be glass. And this is just to like show you an example. It's going to be like this shape, like a dome shape. All glass. And then there's going to be like a lot of wardrobe stuff here. There's going to be like a counter here to like get ready, you know, for your stuff. Um, I'm going to do that shelving stuff with trapdoors, wardrobe stuff, whatever, huge bed. I was thinking either like a big bed out of wool that people will do, or they like to do a wool, you know, bed. Or just like, not just regular beds. I might just do regular beds. Then I can actually sleep in here as my house. Haven't decided the bedding part, but there'll be a bed there. And then here will be the like walk-in shower area. I love bathrooms with like walk-in showers where... It's huge, like, you know, a regular tub slash shower like we have in the U.S. When I stand in it, my arm touches the wall of the surround, it's called. My other arm touches the shower curtain. My feet touch where the tub curves. Drives me crazy. I love when you can just walk in and it's like shower, huge. So we're going to have, like, double shower heads. I want to do a shower head from the ceiling if I can figure it out. This is going to change to quartz. I'll do something on an edge so you don't, like, um... So it does water doesn't drain out. Actually, well, it'll be sunk in one because this is half slab. So anyway, quartz will go down there. Double shower head, towels on the sides. Um, you can look out when you shower. And then in this corner, there's going to be a crammed toilet and sink. Or maybe sink and toilet. I don't know. 
yeah, no door, whatever, who cares? So if you look and peek, you can peek, I guess. But that's that's all you, buddy. <laughs> that's all on you. No comment on that. Alrighty, so we come out here now. So again, just to show you where we're at and to see what time it is. Hallway. This way for sitting and dining. And then guest bathroom and master bed and bath. And then, does this make logical sense? No. I was going to do another bedroom, but that shower goes to here and this is the outside. So this is just going to be a really nice living room. So that's like the party room. This is going to be the living room. So I'll probably put carpet down instead of change it to terracotta. This is all going to be glass. And I already checked from the outside. It's going to look awesome from the outside looking back too. So it's not like it's going to destroy how it looks on the outside. This is all going to be glass. This is probably going to be my perimeter. I don't want to cut it back too far because I don't want it to be even with this. I like that it's off by one. So this will be all glass. This will be glass. I'll have couches in here. Probably just a bunch of couches. It'll be carpet. Um, yeah, and then something to resemble like a TV in the corner or something here. Haven't decided. So um, I'm happy with this so far. And then the terracotta rooms will just go how they make sense. Notice this is all three high with glass. This hallway is not three high, and that's on purpose. Um, this is high with glass, of course. So I've thought this out very carefully. I can't wait to finish it. I'll finish it off camera and give you a tour, but... I really want to be careful about like details because I always forget the cute little things like this. I always forget that stuff. I'm kind of stuck in like, oh, let's put, you know, an oven and a table and chairs. And I forget stuff like this, right? There's no refrigerator here um, because there isn't. <laughs> I should probably make this a refrigerator, but then we'll have trapdoors get in the way. I guess I can make that the refrigerator. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should make this refrigerator. But what can I do for a refrigerator besides iron blocks or quartz blocks? I normally use quartz blocks. And then like these trap doors. Or iron trap doors. I don't know. Once I get quartz, I'll look at the different types of quartz. Because there's different types of quartz. Like the chisel and everything. So I'll think about that. Decide what I want to do. And then I'll put a fridge in there. And then I'll show you in another video. I'm not going to do it right now. And then come back to the video. I'm just note to self, put fridge there. Means I'll have to get rid of this probably. Um, Cause we need, no, we can get rid of that. Keep the oven, have a fridge, and then this could be the countertop working space. I don't know, whatever. Kind of like a vacation mountain home, right? Alrighty, so I think that's it for the house. It's just gonna be one level with lots of views to the outside. So lots of glass, and then a big open party area with music and a bedroom just so guests can stay, I guess. And then they have to walk through, all the way through here to get to the bathroom. It makes no sense, does it? But that's so you can see the outside when you're in your tub. That's why. Um, is there going to be glass up here looking out this? No, I don't think I'm going to have glass to the hallway. It's just glass to the rooms. And I'm not going to have glass into that room either. And then I'm going to try to, I'm going to try really hard to do a bunch of details in here. Just because. So anyway, it kind of bugs me now. I kind of want to do a fridge for you and then make a cut. And then bam, there's a fridge there. But I want to experiment in creative with some different materials. Because there's a lot of blocks I don't use. Like there's lots of chiseled stuff and all these things I don't use that I really should. Alrighty, what is next on the list? Let's see. Oh yeah. Well, let's go back downstairs and I'll show you the enchanting area I'm working on. And why we have to harvest the... Sugar King, because I'm trying to get more books. So if you come down here, you'll see Rest Your Bum, Bench Donated by No One. Because you always see, like, Donated by the Smiths. This is donated by nobody. I'm going to put something here, just don't know what yet. going to put something there, don't know what yet. Lantern, um, Brewing Room. I'm going to, I just did this to remind myself. And then there's going to be a, another work growing room there. Like, well, there's going to be like a secret tiny hallway with a another war growing room and then further we'll go to that double decker bridge I was talking about that we're going to have to that little room on the outside of the office under the office remember enchanting you come in here pretty basic we're going to fill all this in with books even though we don't have to and it's very simple lapis books and enchanted books once I get specific types of enchanted books then I'll like label these like hey these are infinity books or whatever and then books there and anvil and then um the lighting pattern in the ceiling. The reason why you have stone here is because that is underneath my lights on top. 
and I want it on top to look good. So I kept them stone because you won't even notice, especially with all the books. So we need to get some more books. Um, we need a lot more books. And it's going to be nighttime soon, isn't it? Do we have time to harvest that sugar cane before it gets to be dark? Yep. i got to do something about that so I can run down there. Let's harvest the sugar cane quickly so we can make some books. And then um, I'm going to be harvesting my, um, what can I call it while I'm at it? My, I do use the dye. I do need the dye. And then... We'll sleep and we'll keep going with this very long episode. I'm sure it's not quite that long after I added some of it down. But as it sits right now, this is a very long episode. All right, did we get all of it? Did we get 12 cactus? We got 10, which means we missed two. There we go. I've been getting these two while I'm here. Not all of them, just just enough so that I'm just kind of whoops, building my collection for brown dye. In case I need more of the brown terracotta. Just basic stuff. I've been knocking some of these down because you can... You know, whatever. Just collecting things. Alrighty, let's go sleep super fast. I gotta breed more cows too, because I need more leather for my books. Um, just things I do. You know, little things here and there. And um, it's been super fun. Alrighty, let's see. And then yeah, this will be the living room. See that glass? Or it will be all glass. It's gonna be open. It's gonna look gorgeous. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. I could even have a patio. <gasps> Where you go out the door and there's a patio here. <gasps> Do I want a patio with a rallying? Will that look stupid? Or will that look really cool? That might look really cool. Another thing to add on my to-do list is a rallying around my living room, I guess. As what else do I have to put on there? I had to put on, um, make sure to make banners for towels and a bunch of stuff. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's sleep and then we'll continue and hopefully... What is that noise? All right, another morning, and what were we doing? Um, oh yeah, we're gonna see if we can make enough books to make um, to finish up our enchanting area. Because I want to enchant something with you guys today, or I want to try to. I'm gonna try to enchant our pick. Hopefully, get fortune three on it. There's skeleton. There is one spawn block in here, because I've been getting. No, maybe not. I have been getting another Netherman, Enderman, but they're probably just TPing in here. So never mind. Did I collect my paper? I don't think I did. Whoops. Come on. How do you use this crafting table? Like this. All right. And then... What is that recipe? Oh. What's it called? That was a um, cartography table. All right. Here we go. Let's go like this and... Make books. Okay. Is that enough for... Is that enough books to fill that in down there? No, but it'll be enough to make level 3 enchantment. So that's all we care about. Alright, here we go. And let's go place these. This is just a chance, or that's just brewing stuff now. Alright, here we go. Alright, um, like I said, there's already 15 here, or whatever the number is, but we're just going to make it as much as we can. Okay, so next... Um, we're going to try to, oh yeah, we got to put lanterns in here too. We're going to try to, um, enchant stuff. Hang on, now again, I'm going to put these, gosh, that's low. Ooh. I'm going to put these where they'll be kind of more effective than just in the corner corners. Um, but man, that is low. Wait, what are we doing here? Was it one in? Yeah, one in, okay. Is that enough lighting? I don't think that's enough lighting. I think we need one here. Probably. And then one across from there, which would be right here. There. Now that should be perfect lighting, right? What are we at? 12. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It doesn't even get below 11. 10. Yep. What do we get inside here? I was going to put one in there too, just because. No, that is way too much. Ugh. Okay. What are we at? 11, 11. And then inside, well... This will go down as we put, um, as we put, there we go, because we're going to be putting bookshelves, which will knock it down. I don't think that's going to affect our enchanting, because there's an air block, right? That is a lot of lights. I should bring them up one and sink them in, shouldn't I? Do I want to get into that? That's my floor, though, right? Oh, that's not my floor. Oh. 
I guess I can sink them in. I kind of like the idea, though, that they're hanging down in the way. Like, if you're... Like, if you think about, like, if you're at, like, a fortune teller's place or something. Like, the beads and everything is, like, bonking on the head and getting your way. That's kind of what I was thinking. So I'm going to leave them down. If it drives me crazy, I'll move them up off camera. But I kind of like that they're, like, in your face. Alrighty, so we should be able to enchant. Um, if we don't get anything good on our first go here, then we'll do some throwaway enchantments. What? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's already enchanted, so I need a book to add to it. Never mind, we're never gonna <laughs> we're never gonna get dumb. Uh unbreaking and what? Ooh, whoa! Knockback. I kinda hate knockback when you're trying to get stuff fast like um skeletons but it'll work great for creepers okay good so can we get infinity do you think infinity would be a book anyway yeah so now we just need a book for infinity and do they have do they have books for unbreaking um would that be nice well, not unbreaking but for fortune because I don't want to get more diamonds so we have a fortune pick Hmm, I'm wondering, there's, there's a test you can do, I'll show you. If we take a throwaway axe here and put it in there. Um, yeah, see now if that said fortune, then I would go make another pick just for fortune. But it doesn't and we don't know what's going to be on it. Um, yeah, see, so I'm glad I didn't do it, so let's throw that away. Anyway, you get the idea. But now we can put another, what if we put this in here, what can this give us? Unbreaking. I want to put mending on there. Well, we can put a mending book on it any time. Ooh, fortune. Fortune for an axe. What's that for? That's for like um apples and sticks, I think. So we can still put a mending book on it. Can is there an unbreaking book where we can put um not unbreaking fortune. Is there a fortune book? I don't think so. Oh boy. Yes, there are fortune books, but it's extremely rare. You might have to go through 100 books. Okay, that's what somebody said. So we'll probably end up doing another diamond pick. And then um, trying to get fortune on it. Unless I go to town and somebody has a fortune book. Otherwise, now we're going to have two picks. One with fortune eventually, and then our mending for no reason. So I kind of wasted that mending, didn't I? I put mending on there. I'm so proud of myself to get a mending book. But I kind of wasted it. Gosh, I wish I knew what that was. Um, oh, well. That'll be another day. Yep. Okie dokie, what else is on the list? Now we have to go to town and do some things. <laughs> Let's, I was going to put this in here. That's fuel. <laughs> This thing. Let's put in there's fuel. Can I put in here's fuel? Any of these empty? That's empty. That'll be fuel. There we go. Okie dokie. Um, I'm bummed. I wasn't thinking when I put mending on here that you can't enchant it now. You have to get a book to add to it. And there might be fortune books, but they're rare. So, shoot. I should have waited until I had fortune and then put mending on it. I can put mending on that. Bummer. Alright, well, we're going to go to town. I have a bunch of stuff in my hands, and we're going to um, we're gonna do a few things. I need space for something. Yep. Okay, let's go to town and keep this video. Oh my gosh, it's been over an hour recording for me, but that's okay. I'm sure y'all don't mind. Okay, here we go. All right, first thing we need to do is check our mailbox. I always check our mailbox when they come to town because people leave gifts, and it's nice. I haven't left anybody else any gifts because I don't have any gifts to give right now. <laughs> hey, look, we have something. Another war. Holy cow, thank you. And I know this is from Nursing Geek, because she actually told me. So, now I just need to brave the nether and get some soul sand. Unless somebody sells soul sand. I don't know, maybe. Alrighty, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we just have to get some soul sand. Which shouldn't be too bad once I get out of my nether waste biome. <laughs> which I love. It's gorgeous, but difficult. That's the most difficult biome to be in, but I love how it looks the most. So what I've been doing 
Actually, we need our shield because there's tons of drowns in here. Because I've been jumping in, and I've been getting squid. So what I'll do is I'll collect, because I need, you know, black ink. I need black ink and black dye to get my, um, I always miss it, to get, um, my black glass. So what I'll do is I'll come through here and I'll get, like, you know, a stack of ink or half stack of ink. And then I come back. Did he go away? Did he drop anything? And I'll get, like, a half stack of ink or whatever. And then I'll come back. And then they respawn. In, like, the hundreds and thousands. So I have completely cleared this area out. And they're all respawning, so I'm not worried about it. It's just I can't do this back by my house because nothing, I'm not getting squid spawns. And I'll also get fish while I'm at it. So I can feed my kitty because he's sick. And then, um... I'll get kelp while I'm at it, things like that. So I've been doing this for a while. I'm just going to do this a little bit more just to show what I've been doing off camera. I like grinding things. There we go. Give me the ink, dude. No drowns yet, huh? Okay. Now the fish are spawning. See? See, they're all spawning in behind me. Look at this, see? And they'll just go forever and ever. It's like they keep... Come here. They'll just keep, um... They'll just keep on spawning. Same with the fish. So you never run out of resources here. So that's what I've been doing. So now we're going to do some more things. We're going to go to Alduendon's area because I want to see what you need to do to trade with his villagers. We're not going to be able to do any trading. They brought her to drown. We're not going to be able to do any trading because I don't know what it's needed. Oh, obligatory swim view. But let me restate that. Goodness. I'm concentrating on how long this video is, but anyway. We're going to Alduendon's. And how do I get out of here? I've never actually gotten out. I just go somewhere else. Um, because... Oh, we can go through here. Because, um... I want to trade, but I don't have any resources with me to trade. So I just want to see what we need to trade. And then come back and trade another time. Because I want to get some more mending books and um, silk touch books. And maybe he does have a fortune book. Let me in. But we'll have to see. Alrighty, we can put this away now. Okie dokie. Um, Alduendon is in the balloon, I think he said. And then he said, he told us that he has tons of berries. And we can just take the berries and not worry about replenishing because he has a berry farm that overproduces. So we'll just take some berries and enjoy them. So Alduendon must be here. Um, Alduendon, here we go. I haven't been here yet. And we will do a proper tour of this area. Okay, so... He said you can go through the nether portal to get to his farms. Or you can just go to his farms. Farm meaning like there's a villager farm. Um, I don't want to spoil this too much. I don't want to look around too much. I just want to find his villager farm. I don't know how to get to it though. Um, I don't know. I really want to tour this place though. Um... I don't know where the villager farm is. <laughs> he has a bee farm as well and all this other stuff. Um, alrighty, well, I think that's going to do it for us. We started this video an hour ago in first person, so we might as well end it in first person too. And um, we got through everything on my list, plus more. But we did not get to see what we need to trade with villagers. So I have to get in Discord and have to ask him where this is. So I can go take a peek. But then keep in mind, by the time you watch this video, all those questions would have been answered. Because I'm recording so far ahead. <laughs> it is what? It's still like the middle-ish of June. And you're watching this like the end of July, I think, or something. So I'm recording way ahead. So you don't need to, um, well, I guess if you want to leave comments about where things are, you can, but I would have already found out, right? So let's see, is it in here maybe? Because like I said, I saw a picture on Discord. No, that's just farms. Anyway, so by the time you see this, oh yeah, it's all animated, see, look. I did that. Ha 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 ha. By the time you see this, my questions will have been answered. And I would have found this farm. That's animated too. Okay, that's going to do it. That is like a five minute... What was that noise? That was like a five minute sign off. 
because I'm looking for this place. So I, whoops, sorry, didn't mean to trample your stuff. I will, um, I am going to, I don't know what I'm doing. That's brewing, though. I'm just going to look out this window, and I'll see you next time.